Hello and welcome back to Sorted Food. Now today we have an ultimate budget battle and we've got our three normals, Jamie, Barry and Mike, who are going to go head to head to head to create four delicious plates of food from just five pounds worth of ingredients and in just 30 minutes. And it's worth saying there is a budget battle badge up for grabs too. Let's see what they're going to make. I'm making a sausage and apple bake with homemade soda bread for four people for just £4.96. pence. It's comforting, it's hearty, and it's packed full of store cupboard hacks to keep me under budget and full of fresh flavours like the sausage, the apple and the garlic. I am making a cheese tray bake pizza for £4.80. I'm making my own homemade dough and topping it with some delicious fresh vegetables. The bit where this all could fall apart, literally, is when I flip the dough halfway through the recipe, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I am making cranberry sausage rolls with creamy cabbage for only £4.88. This recipe is packed full of money-saving hacks, one of which is using a pre-rolled puff pastry, but if I don't get it in the oven quick enough, then it's going to be yet another opportunity for a badge down the drain. Well, my tummy's rumbling, but are they going to be worthy of a budget badge? Are you ready? Yes, Ben. Your time starts in three, two, one, go! Right, first things first, I need to get on with my soda bread. I've got self-raising flour, I have some salt. I'm gonna mix them together. I'm using self-raising flour, so there's no need for any extra baking powder. I'm trying to keep costs down, keep it simple, essentially. Then that is gonna have buttermilk going in slowly, because why would you want it to go in quickly in a timed battle? I'm gonna start this with a spoon, and then I'm gonna do what everyone wants you to do, get your hands in. This is going to go onto a board. I'm going to cut that into four, make four little balls. The beauty of something like an Irish soda bread is the fact that it's no need. Starting off with my own dough. Unbelievably simple, yogurt and self-raising flour. Give it a mix. And once it kind of forms into a dough, you can get it onto the board and start kneading it. The key is to have faith in your dough. There are points, like right now, where you're thinking, I'm not sure this is gonna work, but have faith in the recipe, keep working it, and it will start to come together to create a really smooth, beautiful dough. But I'm nervous. <laughs> Holy I essentially need to get a whole sausage roll made and ready to go into the oven in max seven minutes. Within the constraints of budget, cooking out Onion and garlic for as long as possible equals lots of depth of lovely flavour. Sausage time, Ebers! The history of the British banger goes back to budgeting and rationing. And they used to put water in the sausage meat during the war, and then when you used to cook it, the water would expand and go bang inside of the skins. And that's why in wartime, sausages were suddenly called bangers. Budget food can still make you go, whoa, I'd eat that and that's what I'm hoping to aim for here. Mustard in with my sauce meat. I also want some cranberry sauce. I'm going to stick two thirds of my oniony, garlicky mix in there. Salt, pepper. Get the hands in. Oh man, I've got to move fast. How long have I had, Ben? I've had eight minutes. Oh dear, this should have been, oh, it should have gone into the oven by now. We always say buy the best meat that you can afford. For this, in five pounds, I don't have much that I can afford. So these are cheap sausages. To get the most flavor out of them, I need to brown them. I need to get them hot. I need to get flavor from them. So I'm gonna do this in batches. Whilst they start to brown, I can get on with my other flavors that are going into my bake. Apple, onion, garlic. You've had 10 minutes, which gives you 20 minutes remaining. Okay. That's a very useful stamp of time. More sausages going into the pan. I think cooking on a budget, you need a plan. I'm glad you just put them in. Uh, let's get on with making my roux. So I've got veg oil going into a pan with a tablespoon and a half of self-raising flour. So you want to get that on the, on the heat. Let that cook in the fat until the flour starts cooking out. It turns into a bit of a paste, and then we're gonna be dribbling in our milk a bit at a time. 
This is my cheese sauce replacement. Cheese would be lovely on this, but Parmesan, Pecorino, all those cheeses, they are quite pricey. Um, and this is a really decent hack, mainly because it's delicious. It's so satisfying. Now, more than ever, we realize it's really important to get the most out of our ingredients. So James and the food team have developed some phenomenal recipes in meal packs to do exactly that. And they're all at less than one pound 50 per portion. And you can now search for them and other recipes using our food tag function to find whatever meal types you're looking for. You can download it from the App Store, Google Play, or you can get hold of it at sorted.club. And we urge you to give it a go. In fact, we're gonna give the entire first month free to see if it's for you. Pastry time. Getting breezy. It is getting breezy. This is pre-rolled puff pastry. Okay, so I'm essentially going to cut it in half and then sauce meat goes along the sides. Now the pre-made pastry, it's obviously a hack. Not only would it take you a lot longer and be impossible in a 30 minute challenge, but I don't think you can make it any cheaper than you can buy it. Cream going into a bowl and I'm going to let that down with some water. So normally, egg wash, but I haven't bought an egg. So instead, I'm gonna use the cream in the cabbage. Might as well use the cream now. This is gonna bind it. Oh, Webers, how long have I got? I don't know, but you've rubbed that bit four times. I'd do it once if I were you. Right, let's roll it. Ideal, look at that. Sausage rolled. Pinch down the edges of the sauce to seal it. Preheated tray. I think we're about gale force now. Out. <laughs> I mean, rustic. Let's score them. And now they go in. You have 15 minutes remaining. Oh, could make it. Could just make it. You also told me you were gonna do your cream wash on top. Oh no! I want that color. So I'm going for it. I want it. It's important. A bit smoky in here. Smells like winning. Sausages. Back in, going in with my onion, give that five minutes to soften up. There's a lot of movement up front, but now the work is done. After a few minutes, I'll add in the garlic and the apple as well. Time check, you have 10 minutes remaining. We're gonna scatter in our flour. 10. Bearing in mind that you said that that needs to be in the oven, <laughs> turned down a bit with 10 minutes to remain. Yep, it was, all right. Going in with my beans and my juice. Cream is going in. Give that all a stir up, and then that's gonna go into the oven for however long I have left. Nicely done. Emma's! I just remembered. Also, add 50 ml of water, otherwise it's gonna be too thick. Whilst my roux continues to bubble away, I'm gonna start chopping up my broccoli and some mushrooms. I am a firm believer that the making of any pizza is an egg on top. Into the pan now, I've got some vegetable oil. Let's get all of my broccoli in there. It's, this is the make or break right now. I'm gonna get some greasy paper onto the tray. Never know which way around it goes, but that'll do. And then I'm gonna put this into the tray and push it out to the sides. Really? It doesn't push. It's... I'm gonna roll it out first. Okay, roll it out then, I guess. So let's shred a cabbage. Hmm, how am I doing this? I would quarter it and then cut the core out as you might do an apple or a pear. Thanks, Ebbers. Rest of my onions and garlic, I'm adding my cabbage to. A whole cabbage. So I wanna fry that down for five minutes or so and then I'm actually gonna add in some water, evaporate off all the water so it essentially like sort of boils slash steams a bit helps it along with the cooking. How's your bread looking? I can't see it from here. Neither could I, but it's quite dark in this oven. I think the light might have gone, which means I have absolutely no idea. Barry, you said your bread needed yes, five ben. minutes on either side. Just letting you know you've got 10 minutes left. Ebbers, I'm worried. I'm worried about a lot of stuff because at the moment, my cabbage is taking a lot longer to cook than I expected and my sausage roll might not even be done. So I might have zero dishes cooked by the end of the 30 minutes. Okay. I wonder how the other's getting on. One, two, three, hop! Oh no! <laughs> Let go. Oh no! Yeah, put a blade in it, that'll help. No, 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 it's the Oh no! That's gone terribly wrong! 
Oh no! <laughs> Looks like a map of the British Isles. <laughs> <laughs> plan B, I'm going to preheat this pan. That'll take six minutes. Make it really hot and then see if I can get half of that in so that there's less, more surface area and less crowding because you shouldn't ever crowd a pan. Question is, can you get it done in time? Okay, right. Sauce is now going on top. It's a funny colour. Now my delicious toppings. Four minutes remaining. That needs four minutes to cook perfectly. Eggs! <laughs> eggs! I was going to mention <laughs> Where am I going to put the eggs? <laughs> I don't think a pizza's complete unless it's got an egg on top. Where am I going to... What a stupid thing to put on a pizza. This size. Right, hand on left. <laughs> it's not been a good day. Two and a half minutes. I've got, to, I've got to go for it, I've got to go for it, I've got to go for it. You've got to hope it's cooked. I've got to hope it's cooked, but I've also got to go for it. So the rest of my mustard, split between the two pans. The rest of my cream, and split across the two pans. Look at that, that looks great. I've not even seen the badge slipping away from me. 25 seconds, oh Jay, they look awesome. Oh no! Ebbers, I'm not going to get this done in time. I'm going to have to go over. I'm going to go over. Oh, I'm going to go over. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Nicely done, Jay. I just really hope that dough's cooked. But I should have my own series called Bit Off More Than You Can Chew because it's also a food pun. It smells fantastic. Pastry sounds good. Double check your sausage. Ooh, it's done. Okay, stop. You're nine minutes over. Four good plates of food. You get some bang for your buck. Just, you gotta wait around for it. Okay boys, judgment time. I tasted all of your dishes when they were just ready and piping hot. Now let's have a look at them one at a time. Jamie, show the boys what you did. What I liked was that this was like a one pot cassoulet sausage thing and you piled loads of layers into it, including getting good color on the sausages, making the most of ubiquitous flavors like apples and onions and garlic. Ubiquitous. A tin of beans, including all the juice, but it was the cream that kind of brought it together. That bowl was delicious. And then you put a scone on the side, which was very impressive in the time you had. It was fluffy, it was golden on top, it was well seasoned, and it was exactly what I wanted to dip into the bowl. But. <laughs> <laughs> no denying that a dish like that would be elevated with fresh herbs, something like that. But in this challenge, pretty good going. Remember, there's only one badge to hand out though. So let's look at the other two. Baz, lift the cloth and show the boys. As a dish, I didn't think it was a huge amount until you start to eat it. And actually, it's very, very filling and quite balanced. However. That however came very quickly. It came so early <laughs> on. <laughs> Usually you give us a few more compliments before releasing the however, but. Oh no, I don't think gonna start with however. <laughs> <laughs> My name just changed to however. <laughs> However, I don't think you rolled your scone base out to the edges. I think it was a bit too thick, and I think in the time you had, it wasn't entirely cooked through. The edges taste great. The middle, not so much. Mike, lift the cloth. That looks decent. It's substantial, mm. but it took a substantial amount of time to make. Oh. Yeah. Your plates of food were crammed full of cheats and hacks from using sausage meat to using pre-rolled pastry and the use of condiments, the, the cranberry and the mustard, clever, affordable ways of cramming in flavor. You know you went a bit over time, but it, it was delicious. It tasted good. That, I'm okay with that. 
and I did a classic mic thing. And if we're supposed to learn anything from this year, it's stop trying to do too much in too little time. I even said it in the bloody intro. It was tough to make a decision. I think the winning dish would have been Mike's mm. if he was in time because it is the best plate of food. However, still a delicious plate within budget and within time, serving four portions and impressive skill. Jamie. <sighs> Fair enough. Very oh, happy so about that. A big bowl of comfort. It's lovely. Not a badge. Had a great day. You guys had a great, great day? Well, hope you've had a great time. Don't forget, check out the Mill Packs app where there's loads more affordable ideas for you to try midweek. And please comment below with future badge ideas and future challenges that you want to see us undertake and win. Sure. Sorry, or win. <laughs> <laughs> Slip of the Oh my God, it's supposed to be a pizza. Right. <laughs> <laughs>